guys welcome back to my channel i'm susanna and this is simply susanna thank you very much guys for liking sharing commenting and subscribing and if you're new here kindly go and do that and guys kindly tap on the post notification bell so that you can be notified anytime that i put up a video and you'll be the first one to watch it so guys right on to our topic of today being the woman that god has called you to be God created each and every one of us with a purpose. God given purpose that you, whatever you have in you, the next person might not be having it. You understand? So, and all this that God gave us, he gave us for the, for the enhancement of the kingdom, to give back to the kingdom. You understand? So if you're a prophet, you prophesy to people and they have a connection with heaven. They get a connection with God. If you're a singer, your voice impacts people so that they can know god they can you know they can be spirit filled and the songs that you sing can preach to people and they can know god through that so on being a woman that called you that god called us to be this is what you should this is what you should be doing or you should have one you should always stay in the word you can you can follow that one on joshua 1 8 you can go read that one guys you should always stay in the word so as a woman of God, your word, the word of God is your shield. The word of God is your shield. Just as, uh, just as Jesus used the word against Satan when he was in the wilderness, when he came to tempt him, he counter-attacked him using the word. And that was perfect example to us with the way we should, we should live. We should have the word in our fingertips so that whenever the devil presents challenges in life, yeah, we can act counter attack them using the word and in this case we defeat him and you know heaven continues rejoicing you know number two pray always pray for to be a woman of god you should always be prayerful i know it can be a tricky one because the devil always tries to you know get us away from prayers but I came to find out the much pressure that I was putting into my prayer life was unnecessary. Because any prayer anywhere that you are doing, whatever you are doing, is acceptable to God. You can be cooking, you're praying and meditating. You can be doing your chores, you're praying and meditating. You could be walking, you're praying, and that is acceptable. You find that your heart is mostly, you know, in the spirit you're in the spirit wherever you are whatever you are doing and that's that's the most important things because whenever you're in the spirit you you know you keep off from everything else that is going around you that might even tempt you to go against what god god wants you god wants for you so number three know the things that matters as a woman hold family that God, that that God has placed heavily on your heart. You can read that on Philippians chapter four, verse eight. As a woman, you should know what matters. It cannot be the world is moving to the right, and as a woman of God, you follow on to you follow you follow the world the way it's doing. As a woman of God, you should know what matters in your life. You should know that friendships, intentional friendships, family church and your you know your career and whatever you're doing and your purpose th those are the things that matter in your life you understand not everything else if the world is you know is gallivanting somewhere you know alcohol is the is the new it as a woman of god you cannot just go ahead doing what whatever the world is doing you should know what matters to you and whatever god has warned us not to do we should not do it as a woman of god so another one speak with gentleness this one is a hard one for me because over the years i've realized that i've had some masculine energy on me not to be defensive but i believe it's due to the experiences my past experiences with life with my upbringing the kind of environment i've been exposed to has all has all contributed to me having some a bit of masculine energy but i thank god because in this era that i am right now i'm feeling you know i just want to be soft i just want to be gentle i don't know what god wants to do with that but i'm really really liking the way i'm becoming pole pole i just want to be soft i just want to you know be feminine to the 
to the fullest and I that's my prayer for every woman to experience that feminine side of themselves to be soft to be gentle and I pray that the Holy Spirit helps us another one act always act from a place of love as a woman as a woman always act from a place of love to other people because as we have read in the Bible most women were loving they had a loving nurturing nature in them even as you go read about the Proverbs 31 woman, she's gracious, she's merciful, she's loving. You know, we should emulate that as a woman of God. So, as a woman of God, you should know that you are a rare, one of a kind, valuable and a precious, and a precious woman in the eyes of God. That's what God sees when, when he sees us, that we are rare, one of a kind, valuable and precious. Two, a woman of God fears God in everything that she, do, she does. So in your walk in life, you should, you should always have the fear of God as a woman. Don't involve in yourself in things that don't really glorify God and everything. Third, being a woman of, woman of God, you have to have a process, a becoming process. A process that took you to be the woman that you are. And remember through this process, you could have been a sinner before, you could have been a, you know, like in the Bible, we had prostituted me. When they met up with God, their lives changed. So in your becoming, in your becoming process, let that not define you, the woman that you are today. You understand? Another, another thing, as a woman of God, you, you should inspire change and lift up other women gunned down in the trenches. As a woman of God, we've been called to uplift each other, help other women so that you can all grow together and grow the kingdom of God together. So I pray that God helps you to find your purpose wherever it is as a woman and you may stay fearing the fearing God and living your full blown purposeful life and may God bless you. Kindly go subscribe, comment, share, like and may God bless you. Bye guys.